Hi guys, if you saw the previous video, you'll know that I've been working on this Lightning McQueen radio control car, toy grade, um, converting it to run with 14500 lithium ion batteries. These are the ones that are the same size as a AA battery. Um, the car takes four AA batteries. So if I replace four AA batteries with four lithium ion batteries, we more than, well, virtually treble the um, power and burn everything out. Lithium ion battery, when it's charged, you can call it four volts. AA battery, one and a half volts. So four of these would give us about 16 volts, four AA batteries give us six volts. So say more than double, nearly three times the voltage. So to get around that, I included a little buck converter, a DC-DC converter, which steps down the voltage from eight volts. Um, oh, I skipped over that bit, didn't I? I just put two of these in there and then filled up the spaces with dummies so we got two of them in there eight volts we want to step it down to six volts so the buck converter converts it down from eight to six so there's six volts going into there everything should have been fine but it didn't work at all the um, controller which is not actually the one for that car even though it is a lightning mcqueen controller it's for a slightly different model but it's the right um, transmitter chip in there to match the receiver chip in there. It's an RX6 uh, receiver chip and a TX6 transmitter chip. So they should speak to each other. And I've checked back on the previous videos I've done with this car and it was working with this controller. But it absolutely wouldn't work. Uh, when I set it up. Now I've got no easy way of checking that this one's actually transmitting correctly. Um, I don't have any other cars that it talks to so there's not a lot we can do with that. So we're back to just checking whether the receiver is working. I've been putting my meter on it. Uh, we go on the can we see that? It's going to be in shadow, but I think we can see it. There we are. We're getting 6.3 volts in there. That's what I've set that buck converter to. So voltage is getting to there. When I check the actual chip, and I've downloaded the data ship sheet for the chip so I can actually check what's what. Gives us the pinouts. Uh, what the functions are. That's the receiver. In fact, yeah, there's two. There's two RX6 receivers covered by this data sheet. Basically, they're identical. Um, there's a slight difference. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, without DC DC module, so this one's got a module in already in it to set the voltage correct. Uh, where are we? There, there's a bit of extra wiring in there that isn't in that one. So the actual receiver chip pinout is the same. So what we should be able to do is look for voltage on pin 15 that should be our voltage coming in. Well, it says VDD on it anyway. And ground is on pin two. So if I go on pin 15, so pin one's just there. I put a little black dot next to it to remind me. We actually want pin 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, do that again, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, that pin there should give us the 6 volts and we're getting nothing like it. If we follow the track along, the track comes down to there and then if you saw the previous video they've used this uh, receiver board but they've modified it to its original um, configuration. There was some circuitry in this area on the other side of the board that isn't there now and they've got some jumper pins going across. So from there it goes across to there and then from there it goes across to there And then I think we had a resistor just here somewhere. There's a tiny resistor there. Nothing on that side of it. Full voltage on that side. So I'm wondering if it's that resistor. That surface mount resistor is marked 331, which I think is 33 with one zero after it. So 330 ohms, I think. 323, three, so that tells me 330 ohms. Yeah. On that one. And the other one right next to it, which is the same. Yeah, they're both reading 330, or 330-ish. So if I go from there to there, I should get 6 here. And then if I go from there to there, that's going all the way, it's not, no, the resistor's fine. I go all the way back to there. Yeah, we've got continuity all the way. And yet that 660 ohms is dropping the voltage. I'd have to do some maths, wouldn't I? <laughs> I don't like doing maths. But somehow or other that's dropping the 6 volts down to nothingness. If I measure across those resistors yeah, it's dropping the 6 volts across those resistors. Hmm. Right, another thing I can do, if I go from 6 volts to the output pins, that should drive the motors or drive and drive the steering. So, forwards is pin 13. So I go from 15 to 13, it should drive the motors but we're not getting the voltage on 15. If I go on live to pin 15, uh, pin 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so you can see 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, and if we go from pin 12, uh, that was forwards, backwards is pin 12. 
Und einer geht drauf. And then left and right. I need to lift it up so we can see the steering. Left and right are nine and seven. Let's go to that pin. Nine. No, going the wrong way. Nine. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Nine and seven. Yeah, something very straight. You know, motors are running. If we bypass the actual receiver chip, we can operate things. Piston cup, here I come. Speed, I am speed. Six. Boy, I make this look easy. I am faster than fast. I am lightning McQueen. Did you see me out there? I will just get struck by lightning. Piston cup, here I come. Speed, I am speed. Yeah, not really making any progress here as to why it's not working. Well, I don't believe this. I reckon it might have been a dry joint on one of those little resistors. And while I've been poking them, I've made contact. Because now... Uh -huh. It did work, and it stopped working again. Well, that is really weird. For a brief second, it actually worked. And I press the controller, and it sprung into action. And then it stopped again fairly immediately. Whoa. In there, something started overheating then. Don't know what that was. Something didn't like me probing. What on earth is going on? Something overheated. It's like something might have been shorting out, which I've just burnt out. Well, I've got no real explanation for that. I'll have to take the board off again because we had a bit of smoke come up from underneath. Which I think must have been something shorting out one of the terminals, one of the legs. So that now appears to be working. Yeah, totally confused now. Well, just to add to the fun, although we've now got it working forwards and backwards, steering wheels come off. That's not turning. Oh, it's just turning a bit. 
can't see. Let's lift it up again. It's out of position. It's turning further than it should do. Yes. I do remember I had to glue that back on originally. So. So that'll be another little job. I'll probably have to end up 3D printing that or something. Because I do remember that broke off. I think I've got a video on it somewhere. Anyway, like I said, I'm not quite sure what I've done there. There was a little puff of smoke and now it's working. So I think there was something, some metal swarf of some sort, that was across some tags somewhere, shorting things out. So I'll put that back together. Well, <laughs> apart from the fact steering doesn't work. Yeah. Voice doesn't activate voice. Turbo activates voice. And forwards and backwards. <coughs> Getting wheel spin terribly there. Get any steering? That's steering. Okay, that turned left. as well but then like I keep saying this isn't actually the right controller I think that will have to do mainly because it's now just coming up to uh, two o'clock in the morning and I ought to go to bed. So not quite sure how we fix that. I think it was some sort of muck or detritus across some of the terminals there that's burnt off while I've been working on it. And it's now working again. Not very satisfying, but it does work with the 18, uh, I was going to say 18650, the 14500 batteries in it, which was the original purpose of this little exercise, which like so many of these projects just ballooned into, that's at least three episodes now. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.